Welcome back, and this is my first post since Frontiers dropped. A very exciting update that has a lot of changes for building. Glitch building now seems a lot easier with lots and lots of different possibilities. So it should be an interesting time. What I'm going to show you today very quickly is a something that's back from what we used to have before. We used to be able to control short range teleporters such that you could turn them on or off and go in different directions based on a switch or a set of logic. So we can now build that kind of thing again. So you might want to use that for a puzzle build. You might want to use it to have some switches on the wall and say from a particular point you can go to room one, two, three or four and mark them up with decals. The world is our oyster when it comes to logic gates. I've done a very simple one here. I just have a power switch. And when I toggle the power on or off, an inverter turns one on and the power turns the other on. So basically, when one is on, you go from here to here. And then when the other is on, you go from here to here. So whichever way I throw this switch, chooses which way I go. So just to quickly demonstrate that, I didn't set the floor up very well so I have to keep jumping. That one goes that way to the right. Switch the power. Now it goes to the left. Need to be a little bit careful with this if you position two in exactly this way and wire them both up you can get thrown out in a direction you get thrown out over there which again is another fun thing you can do with short range teleporters you can make cannons that throw people around but that's basically it we now have short range teleporter power back which is absolutely great and um, go and have a play with it goodbye for now